Welcome to part three of Maker Centered Learning in Any Classroom, where we talk about ideas around the school where you could foster curiosity and creativity. Because really, the whole campus should be a maker space. Maker is a culture, it's not something you write into a lesson plan once in a while, it's not a special day, um, it's not just a trip once a quarter down to the maker space it's not just a room in the building culture is what you intentionally do every day and it gets built by tiny actions all around us for maker center learning it can be about having splashes of and opportunities for curiosity and creativity all around the building and campus one school took the trophies out of uh, one of their cases in the hallway and replaced them with computer parts and said, hey, build the computer. No real instructions, just an opportunity to put things together and make a working computer. When it got done, the kids let the teacher, Mr. P, know um, and showed them that it worked and then they took it back apart for another set of kids to try. What other devices could you put in a hallway for students to assemble? Do you have a metal door? Do you have some magnet tiles? Put them up, see what designs people come up with. But be aware, uh, some tiles will go missing, especially if kids have metal lockers. There are some very inexpensive ways to create a physical, large light bright. The Children's Museum of Cleveland uses pool noodles, and I don't know what that black backing board is, whether they cut that out themselves or not. Uh, pool noodles are an awesome maker material. Make sure in the summertime you pop by your Dollar Tree and pick some up. Colored golf tees and pegboard is another method to create um, a light bright. Put up a chalkboard in the hallway for doodling, for poetry, for graffiti. You could try chalkboard paint on a surface. If you prefer, you could just put up a whiteboard and have whiteboard markers. Um, yes, you kind of have to uh, monitor what goes up because, you know, kids put put things there but that's nothing new the hallway near the West Reserve Academy makerspace has a light bright kind of thing um, it's actually made from light up dials that change color based on how you turn the dial you tap the dial to turn it on and then turn it to change the color what kind of interactive walls could you create? A lot of places do Lego walls, which are awesome. Some do marble runs. Uh, some just do like a felt um, character building where they put um, like color forms. They put out parts to uh, characters, uh, like body parts, arms, legs, torso, and you know, let kids create different things. Put up a challenge table. Mark Karcher has tried origami challenge uh, once in a while. He puts out paper and a QR code for instructions. He has found that students will get bored if it is always origami. You could try some building with straws. Straw bees is a brand of connectors. There are others. Uh, you could just include uh, pieces of pipe cleaners for connectors. But remember, cut them to be about an inch to two inches long. Otherwise, we'll just use whole pipes, whole uh, pipe cleaners to connect two straws. Um, paint a wall green or hang up a, a Dollar Tree green tablecloth. See what photos they came up with. Maybe get them a theme. Theme of the week, theme of the month. Uh, have a contest for a special dessert or lunch with the principal. Remember to utilize your outdoor spaces. I, I wish places would let kids get dirty and put like potting tables so they could you know, mess with dirts and rocks and sticks and twigs. Um, Sculptures are great, great things. The, the top left is actually pipes that play notes. So there's certain length and a certain diameter to play certain notes. Uh, when you had them put up a stage, just that little bit of a stage, you know, makes things different. You know, large board games are, are a nice thing to, to get out there. You never know. It works better for elementary because they have recess. But, you know, high school might be able to do something. Be sure to show off student creations as many ways as possible. Get the hallways filled with student work. I hate 
going through a school and just seeing pristine white hallways with nothing on them and nothing allowed to be put up on them. That drives me nuts. Um, rotate the work often. Utilize your social media. Send pictures home. Um, you know, it's been said for several years. You know, don't just turn it in. Publish it. Get the students uh, to create a committee that self-publishes um, a yearbook of creations. That they, they were getting pictures and we're putting them in there of all the creations that we that they made that you know in that year. So many ways to do that. I think that all of the signage around the school can and should be creative and should be made by the students, created and made by the students. I think even all the door signs, like when you build a new building, you get all those beautiful industrial door signs. I, I think replace them. Get put over them, let kids make a new sign. You know, for each room, for each hall, for everything. Um, have them interview the teacher so they can talk about, you know, what the class is about. So maybe they can come up with, with good visuals for that or something that's uh, particular to the teacher. And it they, they can be done paper. It can be done with a cricket. It can be done with a vinyl. I mean, whatever tool you have, you can do this. You know, change them out every uh, half a year maybe you know depending on how many kids you got that are interested in doing it make your place scream that around here we are creative so which of those school-wide culture ideas do you already do or do you do other ones this would be a great time if we were together that we could share that and have some discussions but here's the next questions which one can you try in the first week which one can you try in the first month? Which one do you have to wait till next year to try? You know, can you find a partner in crime to help you with your ideas? Because it's always nice to have that partner so you can kind of blame each other. She made me do it. He made me do it. It's always good to have that. Sometimes, again, better to ask forgiveness than permission. Try things. Promote curiosity, creativity, and innovation.